Black Lives Matter of Lansing and other community members gathered outside of the Ingham County Jail to demand action and responsibility from the East Lansing Police Department after the shooting outside of the Lake Lansing Road Mire last week. Justice for the Anthony! Justice for the Anthony! He went into that store to buy corn and macaroni for a cookout. He left his girlfriend and her eight-month-old baby in the car and said, I'll be right back. And somewhere between that conversation and walking into Meyer, going and getting those items and checking out, he never made it home. According to Michigan State Police, the 21-year-old suspect who was shot by police at the Lake Lansing Road Meyer was released from the hospital and is currently being held at the Ingham County Jail for allegedly violating a probation warrant. Black Lives Matter leaders identified the man as DeAnthony Van Atten. Today, family, friends, and the Black Lives Matter of Lansing stood outside of the jail supporting the family and demanding transparency. This is the reason why we are here today to lift up our demands with the family. And so, again, um, this is a tragedy, and we are fortunate that DeAnthony is still alive. He shouldn't be alive, but he is still alive. And again, the community needs to know that he still has two bullets in his body. Sean Holland, co-leader with Black Lives Matter of Lansing, says they want the names of the police officers who shot the man to be released and want them held accountable. We need accountability. We need real systemic transformation. You can't reform evil. What happened in that parking lot was racial profiling at its height. And we see where it ended. It ended with a young black man hanging on to his life and his whole life is being changed. All he wanted to do was go to a cookout and spend time with his family. At the Independent Police Oversight Commission meeting on Thursday, Police Chief Kim Johnson said the department will not be releasing the names until after Michigan State Police finished their investigation. Holland says they want to see the unedited version of the video from that night. We need the unedited vi version of that video, not the edited version or a version with major redactions, right? And so I, th I think it is a sign that um, they're not willing to be transparent with this, with this community around this incident and where there were clear, clear violations of, of, of policy and police procedures. Holland says Black Lives Matter of Lansing is going to keep rallying. We don't feel safe. We don't call the police when we have an issue in our community. We don't do that. And so we don't feel safe and we don't feel heard. So we have to continue to lift our voices. We have to continue to organize and we have to continue to call this community to action. Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter. The East Lansing Police Oversight Commission passed a motion last week asking the East Lansing Police Department to release video footage by this coming Thursday or provide a written statement on why they couldn't do so. Stay with Fox 47 News for more updates on this story.